Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. <clears throat> so we're going to try this. I should be able to do this just fine, but uh, we're going to try this. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> we're getting down to the end of the wines. Actually, I think this, this is the last of the world market wine. I plan on getting wine from elsewhere soon. But um, anyway, I saw this in world market and figured... You know, Convertimino is not something I, I drink very often, but I do enjoy it. And uh, the name was pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but Firehose Convertimino. It's a 2006 and it's from California. So this is not an Alsatian or uh, Austrian or Italian. If you're, if you're a, a viewer of Sommelier School, you'll see that tomorrow I mention it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this varietal and wines of this type especially from Alsace, even though this is not from Alsace, um, tend to go really well with spicy foods. Uh, and that's what the whole shtick is with this fire hose that puts out the fire. But the one thing that's disappointing is when I was looking for information about this is they don't cover this wine on their website. They cover fire hose Riesling. I don't know why. So just a hint for winemakers with websites. Keep the old information of your wine on the website. I know it's 2006, and you know it was a 2006 vintage, and now it's 2009. It's you know three to four years old, but it's kind of nice to have that stuff. So let's go and check it out. See how it is. Okay, so I'm definitely getting like the melon, getting like melon alphaness, um, maybe even like peaches. Pretty precious. I'm kind of stopped up. I'm getting this stuff. And kind of like, I don't want to say the, the, the cantaloupe seeds, but that, that pulpiness that you get, like uh, almost rotting, not, not I know, rotting is a bad thing to say, but um, just like um, I tweeted, I actually smelled what I, what I do believe is a sheep fart from a wine I had uh, last week, but um, anyway. Kind of the, the, like the really sweet, not not quite sickly sweet, but that sweetness that you get from the like the pulp from from a cantaloupe or or a, a, yeah from a cantaloupe. So uh, let's check it out. I mean, it's not an unpleasant nose. I don't think it is at least. Oh, I like this. Why didn't you make any more of this, guys? Why did you switch to Riesling? <clears throat> I'll have to try the Riesling now. Maybe it's really that much better. This is pretty good. Now, one thing to know about, about this wine, um, when you look in the box, on the back, it says, uh, vintage and bottled by Rebel Wine. But if you type in Firehose Wine, you'll get three, three Thieves Wine. And both of them, well, I don't know about Rebel, but three Thieves, three Thieves, Thieves is actually associated with the, the Trinchero family estates. So there might have been something with the Gewurztraminer and changing from Rebel Wine to Three Thieves that they had a, I don't know, maybe there was something with the Gewurztraminer that they couldn't use it anymore. All right, so back to the taste. So to me it's the classic uh, flavor profile of, a, of the wines I get when I go to um, P.F. Chang's that have spicy Chinese food. Now, Gewürz um, the the Gewürz part of Gewürz means spice. And not spicy hot, but spice like spices. Um, and then the uh, Traman, well, you'll have to watch tomorrow's Sommelier A School to know what Traman is. And then you have the Ur. Anyway, so... Um, and if you're smart, you already know all this. Probably a lot of you smarter than I am about wine. But that's okay. I'm learning stuff. You can teach me stuff too, by the way. But, yeah, it's got the classic um, classic flavors. You've got the, the cantaloupe-type fruit flavors. I'm also, also thinking I get a little bit of... Um, 
grapefruit out of it. You know, that, that might be that little bit. It's, it's not really acidic, and you don't really want too acidic. Uh, it, it has a slight sweetness to it. Um, man, I mean, this really makes me think that I am going to be, I, seriously, I'm going to be eating some, some great uh, Chinese food. And it, it, I, I really like the one. I do like this one. I like this one a lot. 90. I'm going to give it a 90. I, I, oh, I forgot to tell you, it was $8.99 at World Market. Um, I think it's a really good wine. And I can see buying this wine again. So I'm really disappointed that they don't make the Gewürztraminer anymore. They only make a Riesling. And I like Gewürztraminer better. I, in general, I, I, I prefer it because it's, it's, a, it's a spicier wine. It's a, Riesling's a lot of times, you, you, it's, it can be hit and miss, especially if you're an American Riesling. Because you don't know whether they're producing a sweet or a dry. But, um, yeah, I like this wine a heck of a lot. Just now, I kind of got like a, a potpourri thing out of it. Yeah. And you know what it is? I, I keep getting this feeling of rice, of, of uh, smelling it and tasting it. So it's really good. I enjoy it. All right, so we've got um, Friday and Monday, we're going to be doing a couple other wines, and I'm kind of giving you a little preview. Uh, these were supposed to be Skype interview wines. Uh, a good friend of mine, and I'll talk about this again, uh, sent me these wines uh, from Running Hair Vineyard uh, out of uh, Maryland. So I'm looking, I'm very excited about these. Uh, I've got a Pinot Grigio and a Chardonnay, right? Yeah, Pinot Grigio and Chardonnay. So we'll be doing these for Friday and Monday. Unfortunately, the, the winemaker just... <laughs> if you followed my Twitter stream today, you would know where that, you would know where, where that came from. <coughs> um, anyway, so the winemaker, unfortunately, uh, we just couldn't get together. But uh, I'm really excited about trying the wines. And uh, we will be doing that Friday and Monday. We'll see you again next time.